All right, and we're back with Armored Core Master Verena. I thought it might be fun to uh, just kick it off with a fight here against Seafarer Conquistador. The number of weapons mounted on his upper body earned him the nickname the Walking Pillbox. We'll give it a shot. Um, if it doesn't go well, I'll give up on the recording. That's just how it is. Well, this is no good. We're absolutely gonna run out of ammo. We're gonna have to try that again. It looked good. It looked good. It looked very good. But then we had no ammo. This is the walking pillbox, apparently. to just barely kill him before we ran out of ammo. Yeah, so we're using these new arms that have machine guns for arms. I thought that would be kind of fun. It was kind of fun, but it only really worked because our opponent was just as bad as we were. Alright, enough goofing around. I think we should switch over to the mission disc. Got some extra cash. That's just fine. Switching over to the mission disc means we should probably switch back to our normal arms. Switch over to our normal set of weapons. Which is a laser and a sniper rifle right now. Let's go ahead and sell these silly arms. And we're gonna wanna go ahead and buy maybe a shoulder weapon. Or honestly, um, if we can buy an arm weapon to buy that grenade launcher that we were using like way back at the beginning of the game. That was pretty good. Bazooka, there it is. That was not bad. Sell the sniper rifle. Sorry, sniper rifle. And maybe we can buy uh, some armor. Oh, I think we want to sell our legs. We just got some normal humanoid legs. We don't like those. We want to go with the... Spider legs. Though maybe we could go with the uh, reverse joint. I don't know, does it support enough weight? Max weight. Max weight is pretty low on these, on these reverse joint legs. 
Yeah, I think we'll go with the spider legs. Uh, we can also grab an optional part or something. Uh, yeah, Missile Jammer. Perfect. We've almost exactly used up our money. Uh, in order to equip the Missile Jammer, I'm actually going to the optional part menu. And currently we've got a, uh... Decreased projectile damage, and now we're going to get a Missile Jammer. So, some defensive equipment. Let's go ahead and change the color today. I'm thinking... Maybe Night Shift. I don't know why red is Night Shift. That's the default Night Shift. We can go brownish. Gray map or blood structure. I guess we'll do blood structure. It's not horrible looking. And now we're going to want to switch over to the mission disc. So, we have a couple requests here. Cavern Invasion, Attack Territories, or Attack Chrome HQ. Rumor has it that there is a group of enemies that have infiltrated a cavern. I think the enemy forces that entered the cavern will are after these materials. Target is a raven, hired as an escort. Ignore everything else and just kill the raven. Um, so I believe that this is um, related to the mission that we got last time. We have to kill a raven in order to impress uh, Prog Tech. I don't know why, but... Alright, there's a mission to all ravens on the nest network. We want to remove the MTs attacking the construction site. But really, we're trying to bait Goldie from the sub-arena. I am not sure if I want to do this mission. We can also attack Chrome HQ. Uh, Chrome is one of the biggest corporations, and they've hired Hercules. They have a complex security system in place that, uh, you know, might be hard to deal with. We got three minutes top, and you must destroy him within that time frame. Destroy the AC in three minutes. So... Yeah, that's a good question. What do we want to do here? Uh, I think we want to do Cavern Invasion. Now, I will say the Cavern Invasion is a little tricky. Well, let's go ahead and give it a try. Safe to level 81. Mission Area Wasteland. Mission Scene Cavern. Main system, engaging combat mode. So, yeah, we're gonna be in a cave for this mission. This is not too bad. Four legs are pretty maneuverable, at least. Especially compared to the two legs. We can easily uh, turn and rotate.
if we're ever gonna kill Nine Ball, we're gonna need to get into the arena. Not just the sub arena like we currently are in. Seems like we're still heading the right direction. Wow, that guy did a lot of damage. Detected. It's Evil Kiss, a member of the Subarena. Oh no, not Evil He's Kiss. A heavy humanoid legged type AC equipped with a missile launcher. It's going to be a long fight. Keep an eye on your ammo. Uh oh. Destruction verified. Evacuate immediately. Do I have to actually get out? Looks like I do. Oh no. Do I have enough juice to get out of here? We're pretty heavy. Pushed me out. Might want to get like a better charger or something. That guy is just noxiously in my way. See if we can just run past him. The answer to that is sort of. Apparently this hill is really steep. And our AC is having trouble getting out of this. Some somehow it thought we went in a different way. I guess we went in a different way. What is over here? This is like a totally different passage. Could there be something over here? Some hidden secrets? So that'll lead back into the main passage. I think we want to turn around. There is a mysterious looking enemy on our mini-map. I'm feeling a little greedy. We are low. Oh, there's three enemies ahead. Five enemies ahead? What is over here? They're all above us. What is that? There's six of them. Oh. Okay, so there's a gun. want to uh, probably be pretty careful with how little life we have and how little ammo.
What are they guarding here? Art. Now, we're paying the price in terms of how much life we have left, but we got the AC part. Let's see if we can manage to get out. Got some kind of weapon, it said. Well, that'll be heavily appreciated because uh, our weapons so far are not that great. Target of operation cleared. System switched to normal mode. All right, we managed to get out. Taking massive amounts of damage, massive amounts of uh, ammunition or uh, cost. Total credits, negative. That's not good. Uh-oh, I've got new mail. Arena registration. Good day, I'm a representative from ProgTech, and I've had the privilege of observing your performance. We've taken note of your abilities and decided to sponsor your entry into the arena. Please accept as a small gift, 50,000, and an AC part that we developed. Look forward to your success in the arena. ProgTech is a company that has grown significantly during the recent years. This is largely due to their groundbreaking achievements in AC-related development. A brilliant scientist who serves as the company's head of development is behind a number of their revolutionary parts. The part you received is probably one of these. The arena is nothing more than a convenient place for ProgTech to advertise, so take care, and don't let them take advantage of you. Should your rating increase due to the success in both the missions and the sub-arena, you may be called upon to the actual arena. That is all. So yes, um, based on how we're doing in the, uh, they call it the sub-arena, it's also the X-arena, uh, we might be challenged in the arena. And currently, we're allowed to challenge any of these doofuses. And we're not allowed to challenge these guys, I don't think. Yep. Can't challenge the top 15, we are currently a nobody. But we may challenge these people, so let's wait on that. First, let's check out the garage. We got uh, two free items in that mission, so that's a that's pretty good. Um, let's see. Head, core, arms, legs, generator. I'm trying to figure out what kind of item that was. Wasn't an FCS? Was it a booster? Maybe a back weapon? Okay. So it looks like we got a free plasma cannon, which is pretty nice. It's worth 74,000. So even though we didn't get paid in the last mission, really, uh, you know, 74,000 is still good. Uh, it does standard weapon lock. 572 attack power for a 6 reload time, and pretty large range. Ammo is free. Well, I think we're going to equip it. 
And I guess it counts as both of our back items. Uh, the other weapon... I think we got another weapon, maybe? Or... Yeah, so we got another sword. We had the Moonlight, and now we've got this thing. Which one's better? So, 2,800 attack power. A lot less attack power. This currently only drains 800 for an attack. Or, um... This drains a lot more. This drains 93 energy, and... This drains a little bit less, and it weighs a little bit less. But, like, my hunch is that it's not good. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit overweight. Um, so what am I going to do about that? Well, the first thing we're going to do, I think, is sell this item that we don't need. Uh, we already have a sword that's better than that. Yeah, a regular blade that emits an energy wave. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it has a uh, increased attack distance or something? Maybe it'd be worth giving it a try. You know, it is, like, a special item that they gave us, um... Alright, we'll try it. And it does mean that we only need about 200 more pounds of weight support. Uh, so currently this supports about 5,000. We're gonna need something that supports a little bit more weight than that. So we could go with the standard um, human likes. That would be fine. Shock absorbing legs. Might be good to go with, uh... Yeah, let, let's go with the Caterpillar. Not that the Caterpillar is particularly good. But we'll switch it up. Try a number of different mech designs. And given that we've finished uh, a mission, I guess let's... Let's try an arena round. It sort of makes sense to me to go from bottom to top, even though we can challenge them in any order. So this is cons uh, advantage, piloting the Shield 9. Consider the best mid-range battles. He does not allow his opponents to get too close. He has no rank. We currently also do not have a rank. So the sub-arena, as far as I know, doesn't really affect the progression of the game, but I think the arena does. lot of damage. We're outpacing the damage, though. Oh, yeah. I think that is doing it. It's doing a ranged attack.
kind of hard to uh, see what the heck's going on. We're being hit by this thing. There he is. Uh, yeah. That's one down in the arena. I think that gives us a rank. I, I'm not exactly sure. I guess we'll find out. It gives us 10,000 money. And we got a special part. Uh, I like special parts. But what the heck was it? Was it an optional part? No. Could it have been a blade? No. A gun? Maybe a back part? Yes, it's a back part. So, this has a small missile. And, um, I mean, we've had pretty bad luck with missiles, to be honest. So, not that excited about that. But that's cool. So we can go to the arena, and yep, we are still just lowest rank. Might as well check out a mission. Defend a submarine or enemy fortress? Um, I like enemy fortress. Sounds good. We pinpointed the location of a base that terrorists have been using for their strikes against Isaac City. Your mission is to attack this base. It's in an old castle. Uh, it's got gun emplacements. Hmm. Destroy the enemy fortress. Okay, so I could do that, or I could go to the submarine base. In which case, we have to escort a marine transport battalion. We can board RNG Industries' transport submarine and, and accompany it to the destination. Hmm. They have a steamship. Uh, I think that answer is enemy fortress. Sounds good. I don't know what it is about enemy fortress, but I think that might be better. So we'll go to uh, safety level 18 in the old castle in the Northwest White Land. We've arrived at the combat area. We'll leave as soon as your AC is deployed. Bye bye. Main system engaging combat mode. So we're just trying to hide behind this thing while we get our bearings. It's a couple gun emplacements, but I'm not too worried about that. Let's see. Oh, well, maybe we want to go up. Being up here is pretty good. Just 
hang out on top of this castle. It seems effective. I guess we can go into the castle. Do we want to do that? Is there anything in here? I guess there's a base. Can we go inside? Yeah, so this laser sword is a lot better than the one we had before. The fact it shoots out in front of us, that's huge. Okay. Well, we couldn't get in the front door. Maybe we can go in this weird top over here. It's like a skylight. This is lava? What is this? Busted open. No. Okay, we're gonna have to like shoot it, I think. No? Is that a no? Can't bust through that? Uh, okay. Maybe we need to take out the rest of the defenses? Or maybe there's a switch. seeing any switch. But maybe it's on the ground. Let's fall down. We are supposed to destroy the castle. Now it seemed to require actually getting into the castle. Maybe we have to go out here first. Just destroy some stuff. Wait, there's something over here. Switch over my plasma cannons. be a switch somewhere. Hmm.
Oh, there's a new enemy over here. I don't think he was there before. Oh, they're on the outside of the wall. Well, that would explain why I did not uh, see them. Two more tanks. Plasma cannons are really good. They fire so fast. And they have no ammo cost, unlike my bazooka. Not that cost is incredibly prohibitive, but, you know, eh, a little bit. Alright. There's now two more down here. Outside the wall. tanks. Here they come. The enemy has hired a Raven. AC identification verified. It's Stalker, a member of the Subarena. Alright. Let's kill Stalker. There he is. I can't possibly lose to a newcomer. No, it's Ninja. This enemy wields an impressive arsenal. One hit can mean instant death. Keep moving to avoid taking damage. Wait, really? I mean, it seems like if that's the case, what I should do is wait here until he uses up all of his ammo, right? Not instant death, but certainly is getting me. He's getting me in a way where I'm like, I don't really know how to get him. He's just moving so fast. Well, I guess as long as I'm up here, it's going to be at least difficult for him to get the jump on me. So he's above me now. It's 
I cannot find him. Spinning around in circles looking for this guy. He's like below me. Barely got him. Target of operation cleared. System switched to normal mode. I had some bazooka ammo left, and of course I still have my sword, but eh, he's pretty tough. Our ammo cost is a lot lower because we're using laser weapons. Picked up some credits. Not too bad. Let's head over to the arena. So we can challenge any of these guys. In fact, we uh, it looks like we can't even challenge that guy. He used to be at the top here. Now he's gone. I guess... I guess because we killed him. It's pretty brutal. Yeah, we can go ahead and uh, challenge these guys if we want. And also go check out a mission. Defend submarine. That's currently the only mission we have available. Let's maybe challenge Fritz. Now that we know we can kill people in the arena, uh, maybe we maybe we should do these uh, while we can. Well-known partier on the AC arena circuit. Most wonder how we ever got this far. Let's give him a challenge. Yeah, the only downside with the plasma weapons is they take your energy bar in the left, which uh, sometimes will overheat. But this weapon is honestly so strong, I think we can run through a lot of these. Unlike a lot of our other attacks, it fires rapidly, and uh, it seems to travel rapidly as well, so... The enemy units are not able to dodge it that well. Ten thousand acquired. Let's go talk to LD. 
piloting the Poison Tail. AC's pilot is mounted on its weapons on a four-legged base and painted it red to resemble a scorpion. Are scorpions red? I always think of scorpions as more kind of like tan. I feel like they're intended to blend in with the desert. Maybe they're black sometimes. I just feel like red is more like a lobster color. So we're taking a lot of hits directly to the face, but we're still outpacing the damage. So it's not as bad as it looks. Well, we would be outpacing the damage if uh, this guy was behind us somehow. how these AIs always seem to end up behind me. I can do this. Uh, I think we managed to win because he ran out of ammo. That was the impression I got there. Another 10k. Let's fight Hiptismo. Uses both automatic and single fire weapons. Never gives his opponent a chance to get warmed up.
There we go. For some reason, I feel like either these units are a lot easier than the Subarena was, or, uh, or this Plasma Cannon really is just that much better than everything else. I'm kind of leaning towards the latter. I guess each of these guys is only paying us about 10k. Ooh, we got a new mail. Let's check our new mail out. Emergency. An emergency situation has arisen. We have a request that needs your immediate attention. Please read the request description for more information. Nah. Okay, I guess we could do that. Assist the Marine Lab. 46k. An emergency situation has come up. We'll be sending a mission request directly. The Progtech Marine Laboratory is under attack by an unknown MT. The attacker's objective is still unclear. We've already sent in another Raven, but he was unable to complete the mission. The best he could do was stall the enemy's invasion of the facility. An important company official is housed within the facility. It is vital that he be rescued and brought to safety. It is our right, as your sponsor, we are temporarily revoking your license to participate in the arena. This mission is now your top priority. Theater of Operations, Progtech Marine Laboratory. Five MTs. Well, I guess we have to. We're not allowed to arena while we're doing this. Destroy all enemy forces and rescue our ally from the facility! Now, notably, the mission to protect the submarine has disappeared. Engaging combat mode. That is one thing um, I'm not super happy about in Armored Core. Which is that, um, depending on what missions you take, it blocks out certain other missions. And it doesn't always tell you, like, hey, when you take this mission, this other thing will be blocked. That's a little disappointing. Our friend is hidden in there. That's okay. Can we let him out? Gate check. Cannot unlock gate. I can't unlock the gate. I guess we're gonna have to come up here and kill the last remaining enemy. Probably some enemy coming up on my rear. I do hear sounds. Is that just the ocean? As we have seen, um, sometimes there are items hidden on levels. like a weird helicopter here. Could there maybe be something on top of this crane? Be an odd place to store an item. I guess let's try not to fall in the water and die. Let's let our friend out. Hey, friend. Thanks. You arrived just on the nick of time. My ammo reserves just ran out. Who 
Who is that? Uh oh. Fritz, you absolute jerk. Target of operation cleared. System switched to normal mode. You know, if he didn't walk in front of me, he wouldn't have died. <laughs> hmm. I guess I don't get a any sort of bonus because he got killed, or. All right, we got some new mail. Let's check out our mail. Um, here's a warning. As I explained earlier, I'm your Raven's Nest contact and the one who will supply you with your orders. You will follow the orders you're given and do as I say. Even if you're approached by your sponsor, you're not to accept any missions without my approval. Don't let that happen again, that is all. Elon Cubis is reaching out. Hello, my name is Elon Cubis. I'm the head of development at Prog Tech. Thank you for your assistance the other day. Wait, is that it? No. I believe the attack was directed at a research group. This is a relatively common occurrence in our business, but there was one aspect about it that bothered me. Specifically, the MT that appeared out from the water. It would be hard, given current technology, to build an amphibious MT. I know of no group that has had success. It's possible the technology lost during the Great Destruction has been rediscovered. I fear an unknown organization possessing advanced technologies may be involved. So yeah, um, that is an allusion to uh, the destruction of the world, I guess the Great Destruction, the Apocalypse, and why all the people generally live underground in, you know, underground cities with mechs to defend themselves. Well... We'll find out more about that next time. Uh, in the meantime, I will see you then.